Okay, today I'm gonna to teach you an incredible exercise. It's called the deck squat, or also can be called the rocking squat. This is gonna teach you how to completely load your posterior chain. So if you're having trouble with your squat where you're tending to come forward, you know, this is gonna become a real problem if you put a bar on your back with some weight on it. And then that's what's gonna to lead to some serious long-term injuries. So what you're gonna learn here is how to sit back in the squat, sit back. And now from here, when I'm sitting back, I can actually get my body upright if I want to. And there's a lot of reasons why I would want to get my body upright. Let's say you're jujitsu. You don't want to be here. You're going to be pulled off balance. You're probably going to get your arm locked. Okay. You want to be able to have this base. Now you can see in my base, this is not a, a base that you're going to be able to move very easily because my entire body is integrated. Okay. And also, most of the load is, is here on the glutes. Okay, I don't have the load here on the knee. My center of mass is not forward. It's right where it needs to be. Okay, right over my base of support. Okay, so you can see that my body's upright. If I wanted to lift the weight overhead here, okay, I have that position. So this is the skill that you want to have. Okay, so that means with the squat, you have to learn to sit back, but the difficulty that you're going to come across is when you try to sit back, you feel like you're going to fall over. So you're going to sit back, but then you don't have that control. Okay. So that's really what you're going to get out of this exercise, the deck squat. You're going to learn how to load the hips, unload the knee as well. So the way you start is just by standing. Excuse the frame. My head's going to be cut off, but hey, I give a ton of free content. I just pick up my, my iPhone if I have something that I want to make a video. So I promise you that if I decide to start charging you in the future, I will have a, uh, an actual production situation there. So I won't cut off my head. But for now, the lower body is really what you need to pay attention to. So from here, you're going to stand now. You're gonna sit back, but you're gonna rock all the way back onto your shoulders, okay? So from here, I'm gonna rock all the way back. Maybe you can't see me there. Rock onto the shoulders. There we go, you see? So you're rocking. Now from here, you're gonna come up, okay? So from here, you're gonna stand up. So rocking back, you see there's my base, and I stand up. Rock back. Stand up. Okay, so now, working through the sticking points. Falling is pretty easy, you just gotta go. Don't try to catch yourself. Just fall and roll. Now, you can be the strongest person in the world, but you see here, this is my base of support. This is my center of mass. They're not in alignment. I don't have that vertical alignment. So. I can try with all my might and all my force, but from here, I'm not going to get up. So I'm not going to get up because my body mass is back here and my base is in, front, is in front. Okay. So the way that you control your body is you have to get the center of mass over the base of support. Okay. So what that means is I need some speed here. Speed is a component of power. So I need power through speed and create the force that allows me to create a quick rotation and get the base under the mass. So I gotta get the base under the mass. Okay, so from here, fast, you see? Now I have my base of support vertically under my center of mass. It's very easy for me to control myself. Okay, so from here, fast and up. Okay, now, if you're still having trouble, what you're gonna do is use a counterweight. I'm using a kettlebell, it's 10 kilogram, it's 22 pounds, so that would even be on the upper limit. It's not about the weight, you want the least weight necessary to help you. So your goal is to gradually use lighter and lighter weight, okay? 
So it's a counterweight. You're gonna hold it, you're gonna hold it against your body, okay? Now, as you fall back, don't hold it over your face. Okay, you're gonna hit yourself in the nose. Just hold it against your body. Now, as you come forward, you punch it out. Punch it out. And that forward punch is gonna help you drive you out of that, that bottom position. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Another way, good old steps, okay? Reduce the range of motion a little bit in the beginning. Reduce the range of motion. Rock back. Now you have to be careful. If you go back too far, you're gonna fall. So keep the abs contracted here. Now step up, okay? Rock back, get the movement, step up. From here, I can take one step away, okay? Range of motion's a little greater, same idea. Range of motion is even greater. Okay, now I work my way down. Now you're ready to do the entire movement. Okay. Yet another great one: use a Bosu or a Bosu Elite. Stand in front of it. Rock back again. Keep your abs tight so you don't fall backwards. Stand up. Okay. So that's the deck squat. A few different regressions that you can work with to master the skill. Once you master the skill, then you're going to look for some more of my videos that's going to show you some progressions.